Okay, so um, I thought I finally should vlog at some point so you guys could understand what the going on right now. Okay, so um, I haven't filmed at all because it's just been smoggy or f I don't even know what the fuck. Just been like, there's you can't see anything. And I came all the way here just to go to Cat Cat Village. Can't see shit. We only have a couple more days here, but we just literally, and we can't get anywhere because you need cash everywhere here. So we're kind of stressed. We only have a limited money that we can pull out every day. And thanks to me, because I lost my credit card, <laughs> helps us so much. Um, so we're, I don't even know if I'm gonna have any footage to film or vlog for um, Sapa, unfortunately. I'm pretty disappointed about it, but it's literally just been this like every day like you can't see anything and I don't know if it's kind of dangerous to be you know renting bikes or going farther out if we can't see anything so and we can't go up like any mountains or anything because you won't be able to see anything so um, I will check back in with you guys in, like in a day or two I'll see if I'll catch any footage today but otherwise it's gonna be pretty um, Quiet for this vlog. <laughs> yeah, they're all, we're all lost. Yeah. Hi, Dougie. Hi. Please don't bite me. I feel like lavender. Oh. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him, buddy. Okay, so Anthony and I just stopped at a restaurant. We're just gonna kind of, I think, chill around the rest of Sapa today. It's actually really busy. Like, if you can't tell from what I've been filming, like, I thought it was gonna be a much smaller town than it is but we just ordered some food. I'm super excited. I got some traditional sticky rice that comes in bamboo shoots. So I'm really excited to try that. And I got some fish as well because they have a little lake here and apparently the fish is what you get here. So I'm excited to try that. And we do have a view, but um, you can't really see anything right now. So, and we're literally the only ones here. It's so nice. <laughs> We're about to get fucked up. Let's go. I mean, he ordered drink, I didn't, but you know, Wait. all good. I'll, I'll just, I'll just babysit today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun, guys. Okay, so I got the the bamboo shoot sticky rice. Anthony's honestly looks a lot better than mine. He got the salmon. Um, the reason why this is supposed to be so popular is that it's supposed to. Um, when it's cooked in the bamboo, it's supposed to give like a different flavor. To be honest, it tastes like absolutely nothing. <laughs> I thought I knew what I ordered, but I actually have no idea what I ordered, to be honest. This is the most like out of pocket thing I've probably eaten <laughs> in a while, if not ever. Um, yeah, I'll have to tell you how it is because I don't know. Okay, so um, we had we tried our food <laughs> and um, honestly, like it just tastes really fishy. So the flavors in the broth are good, and I will I'll say like that much. Like the flavors are good, but um, <laughs> just tastes fishy. So. <laughs> I'm not a fan, like, I don't know, I think Vietnamese cuisine, like, I thought I knew what it was, but I, it's definitely not, it's not my favorite, um, and in Sapa, because it's a small town, it has more traditional dishes, and 
I was like, sure, like, I'll try something that I haven't had before, but, um, it's been a little bit challenging. <laughs> we might have to go to, like, an Italian restaurant after this. And we're advised also against eating, like, street meat and all that, and they're known for, like, their garlic sausages here, and they look fire, like, you know, but also don't want to get food poisoning because <laughs> we've somehow avoided that not going this entire time we've been here so and we avoided bali belly as well so we're kind of just like trying to i don't know make our way through everything um but anyways yeah that was our that was my review on the food um still beautiful views <laughs> but yeah Anywho, so we're gonna finish up here and then we're gonna just go keep walking. Okay, so Anthony and I, uh, after we finished lunch, whatever we just had, we decided we're just gonna go back to the house and drink. <laughs> I overspent so much at the grocery store at Mini Mart. I don't understand the conversion. I like triple paid. And of course they don't give the change back because they're like, why not? Like it's my dumb ass fault, but I gotta stop doing that. I need Alicia to supervise. I, I understand back, so. the money conversion here. I don't understand the money conversion in Bali. And I understood so... it in Bali so well, but here I'm like in triple pay. Anyways, we're gonna go back now drink i feel like i'm in canada that's all we do <laughs> tomorrow i still want to try to get out <laughs> but i don't think that's gonna happen so this will probably be the end of my vlogs for vietnam we do go to ha long bay on friday i hope it's not like this like the weather because uh if anybody knows about this famous bay if uh if it's foggy you won't be able to see anything so let's hope that the weather is good and i will see you guys um in halong bay